Hey everybody, it's Moonvet here, and we're with Ubuntu Studio, a um, Ubuntu Remix which includes a lot of audio and visual editing tools and is mainly geared towards the. Well, that's what it just says there for the creative humans. Um, so far, I found Ubuntu 12.10, the, like the main distro or main flavor if you want to call it to be very disappointing actually um, I've edited a lot of out of this out of my video actually because I wanted to show you stuff but it, it just couldn't because it either didn't work or um, it, it just basically all around it's just too slow too sluggish too heavy um, which just sucks basically wow this looks cool um, let us do this now just now I can't find it there we go they put it away on something else cheeky bastards there we go Get this conversion. now let's compare Ubuntu to this one for example which has a ton of tools for just audio production and you can click here to get even more if you want that and here even more audio effects I mean that's insane it's insane it that this is how a distro should be if you're specialized in one thing doesn't matter what it is it should be all of it I mean color schemes, 3D modeling, font editors, you name it, it has it. This is freaking awesome, man. Seriously. I love it. I love it. We got another blender, which you can make videos with, that's true. Um, cool. And then all your tools with this. Cool. And then for publishing, and the normal tools, of course, because you would not want to go without normal tools. This is sick, man. Quite possibly the only distro that I would, the only thing I would do, actually, uh, yeah, I got distracted. Who cares? Who cares? Uh, Blackbird, close. Just to make this a little bit better with the overall theme, uh, like the, the schematics. No, not schematics. Um, the uh, overall how do you call it? Look and feel. That's what I wanted to go for. Oh, okay, with schematics, I don't know. Every time I do like say the word schematics or something that closely resembles it. I have to think about the old command and conquer engineering forces for the engineers, which always annoy the fuck out of me <laughs> because they, they are they just they're annoying. Um, icons we could change that, but we don't need to do that. You could do this so you get um, normal dark elements instead of the XFCE one, so this is that now watch that, watch that, watch that and go with that one you, did you see, did you see it? yes now you can also do no but we do not want that because then we get this one you can do humanity dark, then you get that one you can do low contrast which is basically, well, stupid you can do high contrast inverse which is the same as always, or you can do high contrast, and it will also it will now change, but a lot of things won't change because it cannot change. But let's, oh yeah, this is the difference between normal and dark. Did you see it? Because I didn't. Fonts and settings, of course, as always, and you can do all the normal stuff that you want to do here. Um, I like XFC the best. I also really dig that background. It's pretty awesome. It looks like a hardwood floor or a sea, 
with the light coming out of it on it and then the logo on top of it. It looked pretty cool. Um could also be like a metal plate which has the texture shut up from up close, but it doesn't matter. That is it for Ubuntu the whole series and we close with Ubuntu Studio twelve ten because it's well any every other form of Ubuntu aside from the normal Ubuntu is actually pretty cool and alright and high five. But uh the normal Ubuntu as it were, so the, the, the one that's been the other ones derive off. It kind of sucks actually, which is a shame. So that's it for um, my small series on Ubuntu.